What's up everybody? In this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to make a super bright LED light panel which is great for video editing due to its natural white color temperature and it won't cost you more than 20 bucks to build it. For this project we're gonna need a 10 meter of LED strip wire and a 100 watt step down voltage regulator. Both can be found through the links in the description below. We're also gonna need a wooden or plastic sheet that's about 45 times 35 centimeters in length and a steel bar that will serve as a base holder. LED strips have marks on every 5 centimeters where you can cut them in half, so I cut it on every 40 centimeters which gave me 25 equal strips that we're gonna glue it on a plastic sheet later on. Now we need to cut our plastic plate to a length of 45 times 35 centimeters. I also draw a line which will help me place all the strips in parallel to each other. Now simply peel back the adhesive backing and attach your strips to a plastic sheet. Some strips had a very bad adhesion, so I need to hot glue them back in place. Next thing we need is an old cable that is at least 60 cm in length. Peel off the plastic insulation so you end up only with the bare copper wire. Cut off the excessive length and hot glue it on both sides to prevent it from moving while soldering. I strip down some old cable and cut it on every centimeter to make a connection between the main cable and LED strips. I choose that my first side is going to be a plus, so I connect a plus terminal on every strip to a main cable wire. I did the same on the other side, except I connect a minus on every strip to a main wire. That's probably gonna take you a lot of time, so after you finish, cut off the ends and we can test our panel for the first time. For now, everything is working fine, so let's just continue with building the frame. I cut two 45cm and two 35cm wooden strips at 45 degree angle and glue them in a solid frame. While we were waiting for glue to dry, I cut two 16cm and one 35cm steel bar with an angle grinder. Then I weld it together with a stick welder on 45 amps and smooth the corners with the grinder. Now we need to drill some 6mm holes in the wooden frame and the steel base. If it's everything ok after inserting the screws, the final thing is to sand the whole frame a bit and mount the LED strip panel to our frame with a few screws. At the back also attach a step down converter with two small screws in the middle and connect it with the main cable with another two 20cm in length wires. After that drill a 5cm hole in the middle of the steel base so we could later attach it to the tripod. To prevent iron from oxidizing, I quickly coat it with anti-corrosion paint and we are almost done. While waiting for paint to dry, I modeled a simple wing nut frame for a nut and bolt so we can easily adjust the angle of our panel.
For the power source I use an old laptop's power adapter which is just right for this project. Strip the ends and connect it to the step down converter. Also put some velcro tape on the back of the panel so it can hold the adapter in place. Last but not least, we need to mount the whole panel to the tripod with M5 screw and a bolt. Secure it tightly and our panel is finished. With the potentiometer at the back, we can adjust the output voltage and with that dim the LEDs for how much we need to. The panel is ideal for video shooting or product photography due to its natural white color temperature. We can also easily change the angle of the panel in case we need to and that is pretty much it. Thank you for watching, please subscribe, like, share and leave some comments so I would know what your guy interested in. Also don't forget to watch my other videos by clicking on a few of them here or through visiting my channel.